Hi, this is Mark from Rightline Trading. Today is March 17, 2014. That's the 11th uh, trading day for the month of March. Um, we had a good day today, uh, despite the fact that the market really, really was unforgiving to us today and uh, just didn't, wouldn't budge an inch. And I'll, and I'll show you our day. Now, first, we had um, right here an auto trader win. Um, I can't tell if it was a first, looks like a first target win. Then we started off on gold, and we're not, we're not going to be trading to gold too much. It's too choppy and um, doesn't follow through. It, it, I mean, it's jerked around, I think, by um, institutions and individuals, and we just can't uh, um, uh, trade it precisely because um, um, everything we do is based on market sentiment, and people change it suddenly. This was a great move to the downside. A beautiful retracement into a falling 50 and a falling 15 and we just got run right over <clears throat> and actually that was our only um, full loss for the day <clears throat> it cost us $400 on four contracts and obviously put us into the hole now crude was easy it's easy to recap today because we didn't get a trade now the pit opened Right here um, but this is a rising market on a falling 50 and then with the 50 up there was just nothing to trade now the auto trader took a loss here and that's its only loss for the day it had three winners and one loser and had two winners on gold one winner on the Russell and this one single loss on crude we didn't take that trade and this is really really a tough structural setup we had this nice move to the downside. This retracement up. Nice signal. But the 50 was still green, so I did not take it. Then on this retracement, with a red 50 and a red 15, it was right into a pivot. Just couldn't grab it. So it made a nice move to the downside that based on our trading rules, which we don't break, we could not take. But we made over a hundred ticks today, so we didn't need the, um, to go out on a limb on the um, on crew to do it. Let's take a look at the Russell. Russell opened right here, 9:30, chopped along, then. It took a retracement right back into the modified 15. Uh, we had a strategy entry, a momentum signal, and it was uh, colored in um, light blue, um, which means that we had order flow and, and momentum with us. Now, we didn't get quite a two-thirds candle close, but I took the risk. And this trade went 41 ticks to the upside. Now we only have we have we have our ATM strategy structured to take two contracts out at five and two contracts out at ten. So we got a runner here, um, but uh, we didn't get to capitalize on it. But it did go 41. Then we had this beautiful C candle on a rising 50 and a rising 15. For, for the want of one more tick, we, would, we could have gotten a second target, just didn't get it. We were one tick shy of a loaf a lot of times today, and this is a perfect break of the 50 to the downside. You can see on the candle entry, 50 was red, 15 was red, and it went 4. Again, for the want of a tick, we would have gotten a first target. But then when it started moving around, I took it out at minus 5. So it didn't cost us a full 400. It cost us 200. But for the want of a tick, we would have gotten a first target. But then we got a beautiful break of the 15 here. And that gave us 11. Then the retracement in a C candle, of course, went 9. One tick shy of a first target. Again, and we got nine. Then Russell just chopped around 
And here again, we got it, this perfect C candle. 50 and 15 were down. Um, we had also not only a C candle, not only was it the surrounded in uh, pink, order flow stochastic and momentum to the downside. We had a strategy entry and a momentum entry. To me, this was a pivot busting um, setup. I let it go. Uh, we only had three ticks to the pivot. We needed two more, but it smashed through the pivot and it went 40 ticks. These C candles, um, when they come close to the 50, with the MA diff, which is the, which, which is the tick difference between the 50 and the 50, when they're tight, just smash these, um, these swing pivots. So I took two into pivots today, and they both really, one was for 40, and the other was for 41. So today on the Russell, we made 41 ticks, 9 ticks, 11 ticks, 9 ticks, 40 ticks. We had, we had that 5 tick loser, no trades on crude, and we had that gold loser. Now, I didn't take the trade on gold into the pivot, um, the gold, because... Um, this was a momentum entry, not quite as powerful. And I didn't take the C candle because this was a little bit of an extended move. If this C candle was tight to the 50 with a small MA diff, I would have taken it uh, banking that this pivot would have been broken. And I want to stay conservative. So we made 105 ticks today. Wow. But our net equity was only $500, only. Um, auto trader, four trades, three winners, a loser, made $200. If we, if the market would have given us a break here or a break there, um, this could have easily been a thousand bucks. But today it just was not to be. So we walked away with 500 today on 105 ticks, um, and um, two huge Russell runners, 41 ticks and 40 ticks. So. Um, you're welcome to come into the room for a trial. Just go to www.rightlinetrading.com. Come into the room. Um, sign up. You're, you're into the room. Um, you can call us at 1-855-765-6681 or email us at info at rightlinetrading.com. Uh, ask us any questions. Call us. Um, our auto trader is uh, still available for lease. Um, it's only had two negative equity days. Um, in over a month of live trading, um, it is doing absolutely spectacular. It is trading three markets, crude, the Russell, and uh, gold. We're upgrading it uh, this week, and we're probably going to have it out on a fourth market, natural gas. So everyone have a wonderful afternoon, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.